This is my latest sequencer written using the Monome Tail Tag. It is a small four track sequencer that builds on the idea that when I want to play something live, I want to have some control, but I also want to have some level of chaos or randomness or some probability that things happen. It's one of the things I like the most about using the electron sequences in the 512 vector in my Eurorack setup. So I have uh, wired a few things up here. Um, I don't know that I'm going to do a full walkthrough of the case, but uh, the key thing is I have Deckard's Voice in the first, Tyso Daiko in these two, and Plonk on the last. But let's just first look at a single track and look at how to use it. So the first thing to do is turn it on. So this turns on the track, and then we can turn one note on here. Now each of these are playing different length sequences. First track is playing five, and it is, um, as the clock is coming in, it's moving one ahead for every single clock step. Next one is playing 12 steps, uh, and it's also moving for every clock. Next one is doing eight, but it's only moving every other. Last one is doing 12 also, but only moving every third. And so this basically, means that all of these things are playing the same sequence that you're going to be configuring, but they're overlapping in a polymeter, giving you a lot of variation, even though you're just playing one sequence. So we can turn on some more notes here. This is pretty straightforward. Go back to one, just so it's a little easier to hear what's happening. So the main way in which you control the note is you use the input parameter knob on the teletype to choose a note in the current scale, which I think I've set to D minor right now. So I turn it and then I press the top button off this step. Change it again. So in this way, you can create a little sequence here. Makes it pretty fast and easy to configure something. It doesn't make it super easy to configure something accurate while you're doing it live, but you can adjust steps as you're doing it live. Let's see, we'll get this one a little bit. Let me remove these two steps again here. So the next button up we have, so this was the mute, so we'll turn this step on or not. The next one is a 50% probability of whether the step is muted. So now we should see that sometimes it plays it and sometimes it doesn't. And this is just using the teletype uh, toss operator to get a really simple randomness. The next step up is uh, an octave jump. Oh no, wait, the next, sorry. The next step up is uh, doubling it. It is also on a probability. There we go. We can combine the two. The next one up is the octave jump. And again, it's a probability. After the octave jump, we have jump of fifth up. And so again, this is all based on the root note that you pick up here. After that, we have a seventh up. we have a single step up. Now all of these is using the scale operator in teletype, so they do wrap around. Uh, this is something I'll probably fiddle a bit with 
uh, later on, but for now that's how it works. And what that does mean is if we turn these three steps on, we have a little melody. We can then start to add little randomness elements to them here. And so already at this point, it's starting to have a lot of variation. And as mentioned previously, we can combine these. Let me just add a little bit of reverb and echo from the Mumia phone. This is a bad idea of what it's actually like to work with it. playing a little five note loop where I'm turning off individual notes in the sequence one by one we're getting a ton of variation just by setting these few little probability changes we can try turning on the next here which is Size of Daiko, just turn it up. So, since this is five steps and this is 12, we get like a rotating polymeter, but it's not a con an exact repetition of itself, so it's more things that you can set up to sort of harmonize with itself, at least when you're lucky. <laughs> Um, in order to uh, have a better chance of it sounding good and to give you a little bit more variety too, I've also set every track up here so that they extend an octave above each other. So it should be the root, one octave up, two octave up, and three octaves up. So that does also mean that even when they do overlap, it's often not too dissonant. So now, since this one is running all the way out, we can also just, uh, we can set up some extra melody out here that the Deckard's voice will never reach because it's only doing the first five steps. So now we get to kind of an interesting world in which um, we have a shared melody that you can hear repeating, but then we have some additional steps for the other one here. Add the second Taisa Daiko voice. So this one is running at a third of the speed. these are still a 12 step they are a polymeter of each other so they still give you great variation in how they overlap it's starting to get a little messy here but we can add the fourth voice we need to turn it up here too feeding into real instruments beats for some uh, delicious texture. Maybe we can uh, mute deck 
Es voy sin... of our sequence in and out on the fly simply by using these mutes down here I gotta admit, it's super compelling little sequences to play around with live. Um, I think that's about it for the walkthrough now. Uh, I'm gonna do a separate walkthrough going through the actual teletype code. It is <laughs> very messy, there are plenty of things I still want to fix, but I thought instead of just holding this back forever, it might be time to uh, start sharing it with the world. So, along with this video, I put up a a link to the full source code in lines of the way it is right now um, and then I will do a walkthrough of the code later and I will probably also at some point hopefully finish the code and uh, put up a much cleaner version of the code that's a little easier to follow. I hope this was uh, interesting to you. I hope if you have a teletype that maybe you feel like downloading the code and trying it out on your own or at the very least, maybe uh, trying to bring some of these principles into your own sequences using the teletype. As always, I know it's been a while since I last posted a teletype video, but feel free to uh, post all your questions in the comments and I'll be happy to answer and take some of those questions into future teletype tutorials. Thanks for watching.